when I was in India. One afternoon I went down to speak in the southern part of India in a school that was attended by and large by young boys and girls who were the children of former untouchables. And I remember that afternoon that the principal got up to introduce me. And as he came to the end of his introduction, he said, I would like to present to you a fellow untouchable from the United States of America. And for the moment I was peeved, I was shocked that I would be introduced as an untouchable. Pretty soon my mind ran back across to America. And I started thinking about the fact that there were so many places that I couldn't go because of the color of my skin. I started thinking about the fact that my 20 million brothers and sisters in the Negro community of America, still at the bottom of the economic ladder, deprived of adequate housing conditions, unable to live in numerous neighborhoods because of the color of their skin. I started thinking about the fact that my little children were still judged on the basis of the color of their skin rather than the content of their character. Now I had to say to myself, I am an untouchable, and every Negro in the United States is an untouchable. Segregation is evil and sinful because it stigmatizes the segregated as an untouchable in a caste system. This is why I am convinced we have a moral edict a moral mandate to work to get rid of this unjust and evil system. We must make it clear all over America that we are through with segregation now, henceforth, and forevermore. If the American dream is to be a reality.